Hey guys, Sam from Future Maker here. As you might have guessed, we here at Future Maker love drones, and we've been making a lot of content in the last year about them. We love drones so much that each of us became drone pilots and got our remote aircraft licenses. Now one of the things that we have to know as drone pilots is whether or not our aircrafts are functioning before we fly them. Which brings me to this, a broken drone. Broken doesn't mean we can't fly it again, and it's actually a great opportunity for us to talk about drone repair. You see, the FAA actually requires pilots of remote aircraft to perform pre-flight inspections on their aircraft, just like real pilots have to. And there are some basic conditions that have to be met, but if you know your aircraft is not fully functioning, then you're not supposed to fly. Mine is definitely not functioning, as I have broken landing gear, and I have a broken gimbal motor. Now, I could send this off to professional and have them repair it for me, but I want to take it apart and diagnose the problem first. Now, I may not be a medical professional, but I do know a thing or two about damaged electronics. So let's take apart the shell and see how it looks on the inside. Boy, these are small. Ah! Don't lose your screws. Now I have the entire gimbal assembly removed from my drone. I can tell there's a little bit of damage to the metal on the inside. I don't know if you can see them on the zoom camera. A little bit of damage to the metal right here. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any major damage to the circuit boards, which is good, but there is definitely some damage to the motor underneath. So that is why I have a spare motor. I'm not seeing any signs of frying. So no burnt electronics, no shorts, and that's good. So I don't actually have replacement landing gear, but I might be able to reconnect the wires. So I'm gonna focus on repairing the gimbal first. If you have a broken drone, you have the option to send the drone away for repairs to the manufacturer, to a professional in town, or to a repair station that is registered on the FAA's website. I'm gonna make the repairs myself, but I wanted to put that information out there for you guys. There's the mount removed. Make sure you have the right tools for the job before you start. So now that I've found where the motor is plugged in, I need to open that little compartment up, remove the cable that is holding the motor in, and then replace it with the new motor. Oh! I think I just lost a screw. Okay, I think I just lost a screw. Oh, oh we found it. <laughs> See the spider and I found the screw. Woo. Oh, that is a smooth fit now. That is a smooth fit. So I now have the gimbal motor replaced and most of these screws back in so that my gimbal is in place there. It's fully attached. Hopefully it works. In addition to performing a pre-flight check on their aircraft, remote pilots in control actually have to be able to perform regular maintenance on their aircraft as well which means that I have to be very familiar with how my aircraft works. I've just got to screw back together the main parts of this frame here, main parts of the shell, and then we're gonna do a little bit of soldering work to reattach the wires on my landing gear. So now that I've got the gimbal fully mounted underneath my drone, it's time to solder together the broken wires. All right, so it looks like this piece can just clip back in place. Let's see if I can get that clipped in safely. Sweet. Be very careful with soldering guns. Add just a little bit of tape to hide these for now until I can order some new landing gear. And that is my drone gimbal repaired. 
Okay, now I'm gonna put a battery inside my drone and see if it is functioning. I'm gonna let the gimbal auto calibrate. Well, now that I've got my drone fully calibrated and connected to my controller, I am ready to take it out for a test flight. If you guys are interested to learn more about drone piloting, check out the information in the description below. We'll link some stuff down there about WSU Tech's drone piloting course. It's pretty useful information. Also, check out the other videos on our channel if you want to learn more about airspace classifications or just drone piloting in general. This has been Sam from Future Maker. We'll see you guys next time.